Are there other side doors we can go into? No, there's only on the ones on those ones. Oh, we've not been in that far one, which we can't get to anyway, because of this. Hmm. So there's not there so yeah, if it's on the around the championship thing. That's only for asking things. There's no items, is there? No, I don't think we've got any items. Hmm. Have another look at storage then. Foghorn to navigate and warn others at sea. We can become pirates and show them what should be stored in here. Yes, and then we can go, oh, they stole all of this stuff. I found the thieves. But oh, not everything's been retrieved, oh no. Oh no, what a shame. Um... So there is a key somewhere. Oh, there's a door here. Does it open? No, it doesn't open. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better. Okay, right. Um, animal stench. Yes, there's nothing new. Something in here, maybe? Like, the thing is... Why does that not have a name to it? Oh, slightly crooked. Okay. For some reason, I needed to. I hope Paul is more skilled at yachting than he is at hiding keys. Okay, I had to have the right thing on that. For some reason. I was thinking the championship. Bloodied thing. bandages. He needed money. To earn big, you have to spend big. So, he wanted money. You gormless gilly wetfoot. You think you can eat off my family, steal my money, exploit my daughter this ends today. Your career is over. I should give you one final warning. If you refuse to crop it, you'll find yourself in deep water. Gildan. Yeah, so he, he he's trying to get money out of the family. Mr. Gildan wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty. And so that might be why he was there. Maybe. Old betting slips. Paul always bets on Whirlpool. One victory after another. Okay, I mean, that's not unreasonable. I mean, if it was other people, and it, and it so happened that he always lost when he bet on other people, that'd be an entirely separate matter. So... Okay, so there's his plans. There's nothing else to see. Where is this other yellow one then? I hope it's not like. No, I don't think we. But he knew about the elephants. Where's this extra bit of evidence then? There's one more bit of evidence. It's not up there. Oh, hello. Well, we'll to win. You do not get to back out of our deal. You do not get to leave on a whim. We need you to get us fresh leaves from our tea party. If you have any questions, the boys will be keeping an eye on you at the race. An interesting place for a message to a champion. 
Additional earnings to sweeten the victory. Okay. We'll have a look at the mind palace then. Well, we'll finish looking here because there might be something else in the room. Oh, more darts. A box full of darts. Each has a needle and can be loaded with drugs. To make the elephant angry. That's why he was there. Shipbuilding, shipwrights' tricks, sail weaving. An expensive set of tools for woodwork. An amateur wouldn't know how to use these. Okay. Mind Palace. Um. Continued. Uh, a witness. No, well, we know he was there. What? That's annoying. Oh, my goodness. There's so much information they've just given us. Which should be in the Mind Palace. So we don't know where this guy is, though. Yeah. Maybe I should go to the, go to the newspaper. Tale of the Empty House. That's... Oh, that's getting the things back. And I've got a couple of cases. Um, and of Silverton. Oh, that's a different thing. So he wants to go to end of Bonanza Street in Grand Saray. Are we in Grand Saray? We are in Grand Saray. So we need to find Bonanza Street then. Oh, Bonan that's Bonanza Road. So that's going to be all the way over here. That's this. That's here then. I mean, I could go over there. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know what I need to do with that. I think we've explored everything in here. I don't know why this isn't... Bloody bandages. I mean, admittedly, we don't know for sure he was there. But I think we've got a good... Mm. Oh, can I get in here? No. I think that those are the only rooms we could get into, so we'll head out now. So what's that other door? What's this double door over here, then? This door. Nope, nothing. Okay. Um... Yeah. Can't talk to you, that's fine. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. That's fine. Yeah. Do I want to just go and do something else? Get onto the Bonanza Road and just follow it along and do the clockwork extortion? I may as well. I'm here. Um... I think my problem with, like, the furniture stuff is basically it's... Ooh, you need this money. We're gonna... You need this money to do these arbitrary tasks. And to do those, you've got to do other arbitrary tasks for side things. Oh, I'm on Bonanza. This is Bonanza Road now. Okay, so we just follow this. So, yeah, there seems to be a lot of kind of... Yeah. A lot of bits of busy work. Like, you do busy work to get money to do other, to help you get do other busy work. 
And it's just kind of like, well... On the other hand, you could just... You could, on the other hand, just gift me... Like... Oh, Harring's Manor. Oh, this is Harring's Manor. This is not where I thought we were going. I thought we were going down there. All right. Boom, Sheriff. I found a corpse. Don't you think it's strange we always end up in situations like this? Not really. Seek, and you shall find. I mean, there's other ways. If you want to find a corpse, you can just kill people. Broken hat. How sad. Pheasant feathers. They're rare here. You're not going to comment on the fact that it's got that it's broken. It would not be easy to cut this hat in two. Whoever is responsible is a master of their craft. I I'm busy investigating a different murder, but all right. Judging by his expression, a painful and unexpected death. And yet, his hand is in a weird place. His hand is clinging to his chest, but he has no stab or gunshot wounds. He had a sword. Pattern 1796 light cavalry saber. It looks like he died of natural causes, but something doesn't add up. Is it the fact his hat was cut in two, or the fact that he's in an immense amount of agony? And someone was rifling through his papers, looking for something. A fencer? So, the victim is Professor Jacob Haring himself. That's no great surprise. I had assumed. London Fencing Club, 1876. So, yeah, so he was a great fencer. Medical report fencing competition. Uh, patient Jacob Herring has completed physicals in perfect health to participate in the fencing competition at the London Fencing Club. Kind regards, Dr. Va uh, Dr. Wagner Bush, uh, 2nd of April, 1880, 1880. Completely healthy and ready to take part in the fencing competition. Daily schedule. Wake up. Morning constitutional. A man with a plan. Admittedly, not a great plan if you write on paper exactly when you will do your illegal business, but a plan nonetheless. Okay, wake up. Morning constitutional. Morning ablutions. Breakfast. Walk on key. Collect mail from post office. Walk on, work on science. I'll call the serious B lunch and tea. Answering letters. Check my previous precious collection. Repair clock, evening repast, exercise, walk along, keep reading, prepare for sleep. Various letters. Stamped with Mr. Haring's personal seal. Okay. Ah, I was going to say, we couldn't we just contact Mycroft at this point and be like, your agent is safe? And the answer is... We can't because um, the guy, may, the guy who's killed him, may have stolen. Be after, may have been after those particular documents. The clock's hands aren't moving. Well, I mean, you're going to think that if you can't see it. Various astronomical thingies. Ah. This was opened carefully. You mean with the key? A safe behind a painting. Classic. Classic. A safe behind what it... Well, a now empty safe. One presumes that empty safes are not some hip new trend. If you had an enormous collection of blackmail material, where would you keep it? Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice try, Sherry. Well, I ain't telling you nothing. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a chicken. 
Uh, yeah, so he's completely healthy. This is... Stop moving. So, it was ten past ten while he was working on the science article. Yeah, so he was... Uh, he was attacked... Because we saw that from the hat. John, do you know any songbirds? Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, partridges, birds of paradise, uh, chickens... Uh, okay, I, I might just be hungry. So, A L L I R T. Just thinking about capital. So, oh, A L L E I R T. Are we not working with that? No, that's not what the message was. That's not what the message was because it's got capitals in odd places, which normally means it's a code. Well, not a code, but it's a hidden message. Which would be, yeah, A-L-L-E-I-R-T. All it hurt. Alert. Ah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing that. Okay, so I'm guessing that's not true, just because I think that's just random. But don't do random things like this. It, like, don't be like, oh, here is a pu here is a puzzle game where you have to do detective work, and then go, yeah, here's just random things. I get that you kind of, that's what happens. I don't even know if I've actually finished with this. Is the problem? So let's go back into here. Is there anything in here to investigate? Newspaper on its own. Nope. Hang on, why do I have to pay for it if it's just there? Couldn't I just, you know, use that? Couldn't I just grab that instead of buying one? Alright, let's go into Q. Right, so I don't actually know what I'm meant to do at this point because. Yeah, we've already investigated all this, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> I thought there was some ticking going on behind here, but I can't... I think it just might be some random effects. birds sang to me. So we've, we've thoroughly investigated him. Alright, I've got no information. So the game is not giving me any information to go on other than he was attacked. Well, it's not even, because it, that's the thing, it's not actually factoring in the that I can work out roughly when he was attacked, assuming that that's why the clock's broken. I'm annoyed that I can't look at the coat and the hat. 